What is happening, Fish and Friends? Welcome to another episode. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm out doing something a little bit different today. You'll see that I only have... That's right, spinning combos. I'm gonna do something a little bit different that I haven't done in a long time. I'm gonna target a different species. Who knows, it turned out to be a crappy day. But while I'm here, I might as well say something. I wanna say thanks to all of you out there. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. If you're not, use your index finger, gently press it down there and subscribe. You will become one of my verified fishing friends. So thank you all for the support. I love my fishing friend family. Let's get to it. Okay, fishing friends, the first bait we're gonna start out with for the old crappie today is that, a little tiny rattle trap. It's just over an inch. We're gonna see it. This thing looks pretty good. I've been having awesome luck with the old lipless. We'll see what this does for the crappie. Old boy at the store said, yeah, that's a good one. Throw that, you'll catch a lot of crappie on it. I said, all right, fishing, uh, fishing some ponds and such. I don't know, leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite fall crappie lure is. Usually I just used to throw a curly tail on a jig head and that was kind of the deal. But this fall, we're gonna try, try finding some of these and see if we can get anything to bite. I don't know, the little lipless I thought looked pretty cool, so we'll see if the crappie think it is. Doesn't really matter what I think, it matters what the fish want, so. And a lot of what I'm throwing is due to comments that I had, I, I put a post out there on Instagram. If you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you go check my uh, my Instagram page out. That's usually how people private message me and if you have any questions, so feel free to add me there, ask me questions if you have them, I'm always happy to help. There's one. Is it a crappie? I put a question out over there and I got a whole bunch of feedback saying what to throw. Grubs, road runners. What do we have? What do we have? Is it? Yeah, first one of the day. Oh. All right, we're back. Wouldn't you know, as soon as I caught that fish, of course, my camera died. It's like clockwork. Every time you get ready to catch a fish or every time your camera gets ready to die, you catch a fish. All right, look at that. Don't even have to set the hook on these guys, really. Just lean back into them. They got paper thin mouths, hence why they're called paper mouth. These are just little tiny treble hooks. Had both of them in them. There we go. First one of the day. Not bad, not bad. Decent little crappie. Good looking little fella. All right, number one. Let's see if we can get some more. Never came here and specifically targeted crappie. So I just cast that baby out. I was reeling it at a moderately slow pace. Oh, wow. There's one, first cast. All right, did we find a little group of them? First cast back out, he nailed it. All right, some crappy action. These guys are fun on a little light spinning tackle. I don't do this as much as I should. Oh, look at that one. What in the world? Even these guys are swiping at my bait. All right. <laughs> Look at that. That's a chunk of a bluegill. All right. I'm not even one one thousandth as good at uh, fish identifying, especially this little panfish as, say, somebody like Leo Shang over there at Extreme Philly Fishing. But I'm pretty sure that is not a crappie. Gosh, he hit it as soon as it pretty much hit the water over there. All right. Pretty fun catching these little guys on light tackle. This is just a medium power. It's a moderate fast tip, so a pretty soft, squishy tip. I use that for the little treble hooks here i figured it'd be pretty good fishing some 10 pound braid with a little eight pound fluorocarbon leader there's another one. Oh, he smacked it that was a little bit vicious hook set there for a little little paper mouth got to get out of that bass train of thought i don't need to smoke them with the hook usually just a light little lift up and you're good to go the miles on those crappier are so thin you don't need a lot of force to drive that hook There's one. Just barely lifted up on him. Don't need to set it hard. Just barely lifted. What do we got? Another crappie? All right, another paper mouth. That's two. Okay, well, this was a recommendation from old boy at the Gander. Had a gift card there, so I stopped to get some crappy baits. I had some old jig heads and stuff and some little ribbon tail worms, but I wanted to grab a couple more things because I posed that question, as I said earlier, on Instagram. And I don't even want these little hooks on my fingers, so. You can just calm down a little crappy. Pose that question on Instagram. I had a bunch of people that answered. So if you are one of my people that follows me on Instagram and you watch my videos, thank you so much for the help. I have some awesome fishing friends out there. Y'all are awesome. This was, I had a couple people suggest a, a little rattle bait or mini crank bait, a couple people said. So the guy at, uh, at Gander, our Gander Mountain went out of business, but we have a Gander Outdoors that went in. I don't know anything about them, but I had a gift card there, so I went in and bought some crappie stuff, and he's like, oh, yeah. It's like, these little lipless do awesome. I'm like, I don't know. Okay, lipless has been working awesome for bass, so let's do it. Yeah, if you don't if you don't have a spinning setup in your arsenal, you have to get one. I mean, they're amazing for, oh, somebody popped it there, missed him. I mean, if you want to do any finesse fishing with, you know, real light, real small stick baits or Ned rig, I use it a lot for that, shaky heads, 
even the drop shot i am horrible at the drop shot but they are a must for those sort of techniques especially in the summer man you can really pick up a lot of fish and into the fall you know the ned rig and stuff really shine i know there are a lot of people out there that don't like spinning tackle at all i like it i just i honestly prefer a bait caster to me it's a whole lot more comfortable and easy to fish um, but I think spinning gear definitely has its place and I definitely have some. I tell you what, it would make me happier than a cat with a gallon of milk to be out here and catch a big old 15 inch crappie. I don't know if there's any big ones in here. There's one. Just lift up on it, no crazy hook set. There we go, there's another crappie, third one for the day. Got him. All these are about the same size. A little bit too small to eat. That's about what? Diagonal side of my hand. Eight inches maybe whoa through my hook through my hook hold still crappy i'm gonna get you in hold still all right there he is another crappie on the day third one three crappy and a blue go look at the colors on him he doesn't have a lot of black on him but he is pretty little fish well, there it is this little rattle trap is doing pretty darn well throw this a couple more i brought a couple other baits we'll try them nice sunny day like this i figured this trap might do might do all right what do i know i'm a crappy fishing noob I mean, I've, of course, fished for crappie in the day, but it was just a little rubber worm and a jig head. You know, regular kid fishing on your spinning reel. My old man loves to crappie fish. He's very good at it. It's not something that I've gotten hugely into. He also likes to go up here in Iowa. We have Okaboji Lake and Spirit Lake. Uh, there's a bunch of yellow bass up there. I don't know if any of y'all have ever targeted those or caught those, but they are mighty, mighty good to eat. I don't want the plant gunk probably not the most appealing thing to a crappie why does that bait fish have slime all over it i'm not eating that thing all right let's try from the same spot just to test something before we move let's try throwing something a little bit different i got one of the old i think this is a strike king slab delicious black and little chartreuse tail hopefully looking like a little baby bluegill i guess let's see if we get any sort of different reaction out of them with this any difference in the bites all something headed out there i don't know if that was another silly little bluegill or if that was a crappy there's one don't know what it is don't know what it is if it's a crappy or a bluegill hey he's getting frisky oh that's a big old gill <laughs> look at that guy okay so i wonder if that's what was smacking the old lure over there all right well sometimes you got to switch it up do a little bit more finesse fishing that guy wanted the bait I'm about to shove my hook on my hand that guy wanted this little bait little slab delicious whatever this is i think that's what it's called crappy bait it's like a black with a chartreuse tail now we need to see if we can find a crappie on it that's what it's meant for throwing it on six pound fluorocarbon see if we can have anything else smack this little bait i'll try one more over this way but that trap was good. I was able to get out there deeper, a little bit farther with it. Just as I say that. Just as I say that. Question is, what is it? Is it another bluegill? Nope. All right. Just as I say that, I don't really have confidence in this one. What do you know? The crappie like it too. Trying to get this little fella free. There we go. All right, another crappie for the day. I'm not sure quite what we're up to, but that's another one. All right, I think it might be time to try that third bait. Let's give this one more huck over here. Kick it out there, see if we can find any crappie. Any crappie. All right, let's try the same spot and just switch over. I'm not going to move. See if we notice any difference here. Hopefully I can get this casted out there a little bit longer too. I've got it on braid. This is just a little tiny 1 16th ounce Roadrunner. Got a little white curly tail grub on it. Let's see if they're about this at all. Maybe this isn't the deal today. So far, no bites on this baby. Let's see, let's see. We might just need to get in the spot where all the crappie are. We might get one here yet. Okay, time to switch back to the trap. All right, let's go back to this. This will be an interesting test. So I threw multiple casts here. Nothing on the old soft plastic twister tail. 
with the Roadrunner mini head. Let's see if we get anything on the trap over here. There's one. Just lift it. Oh, come on. I can get way deeper out there, way out more toward the middle with this one too. That extra casting distance might be really what's making the difference here with this bait too. There's one. Feels a little bit better. Oh, darn it. Come on, really? Come on, little treble hooks. All right, well, they've all seemed to be out deeper out there. That does make sense, probably in the deeper water, not up here on these little shallower flats. Boom, out there in that deeper stuff. All right, this time stay pinned, little fella. Stay pinned. Stay pinned, little crappie. And he's giving a little tug. He's giving a little tug on the line. Ooh, he looked bigger, I can't really tell. Ah, about the same size. Tiny bit bigger, look at that. Just barely had him skin hooked. Barely had him, all right, there we go. Decent looking little guy. I don't know how many we're at on the day. That's another one. This one, uh, this gives me the most confidence today. I can get it way out there. That thing has been killer, just a little inch. Inch and what, inch and a quarter maybe? Inch and a quarter rattle trap? Comment below, let me know if any of you crappie guys out there have good luck on these little, little tiny rattle traps like this. This has been the juice today. I've been getting quite a few hits that I missed. I can get it way out there. I don't know if that's the deal. I can get way out there toward the deeper, deeper water out there for these guys. Or if it's just that flash. It's a sunny day. There's a few clouds around. Nothing too crazy though. But this has been the best producer. This is kind of fun. Of course, normally I'm a, a bass angler. Bass fishing is my true passion, but had a lot of good pike this year. These little crappie are fun on little light. If I even had an ultralight, it'd be even more fun. These little light combos like this, they're fun to catch. Nice subtle entrance on that one. There's one. Play him a little bit more. Try not to let him throw those hooks. Stay down a little crappy. I want to get a couple more before I go here. What do you think he said? Now do you think he's got bit and he's getting reeled in? I bet he went back to his Star Wars days and said, Rah, it's a trap. There we go. Another one on the day. I don't know what we're up to. Quite a few, if they'd have been a little bit bigger, could have had a fish fry. These guys are just, uh, I don't think, big enough for eating. Not for me anyway. Oh, come on. Dropped it in, it landed right in the slime. Got to be one more that wants the old lipless before I go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Way out there in that wavy water. Sun's going to be reflecting off of it. They see it and say, oh, it's bait fish. But really, as Admiral Akbar says, it's a trap. So let me know. Let me know in the comments below if y'all like this, doing a little bit different fishing, something uh, not the old bass fishing. I've got to keep changing stuff up. Got to think of what I can do this winter to keep the channel going. Once these lakes and ponds freeze, I will be out doing the ice fishing. Yes, I am willing to sacrifice my body heat for all you fishing friends out there. And that is the type of service you all deserve. So uh, until next time. Gives them a satisfaction they couldn't get any other way.